Hey, what's up guys? Royale Flush here, and we're back with another Clash Royale video. Um, today we're going to be playing Hog Cycle. So we just hit level 11, and I'm not doing that well at a level 11. My record, I still haven't been to 4K's level 11. I was at, my record is 4,500, so I hit 4K's a level 10, but that's the highest that I got. So I've been just testing out different decks and just kind of messing around. So we're using this Hog Cycle deck. It's Hog Freeze, and it costs 2.9. Now, there's been a couple of decks I've found that I have trouble playing against when I'm using this deck. Uh, Barbarians I have trouble with, and Three Musketeers I have trouble with. So what I do to, what you can do in this deck is switch out uh, Fireball for Ice Spirit. Doing that will make it cost 3.3. But it's still not to the point where it's too expensive to use. It's still a cycle deck. So I switch Fireball out with Fire, or not Fire Spirits, Ice Spirits uh, from time to time, depending on what kind of decks I'm playing. The deck is also kind of weak to Lava Hound, but I've been playing some Lava Hounds and I win about 75% of the time. Just when they put down a Lava Hound, you just got to push the other side quickly and get the tower. And then you got to save your princess for when the Lava Hound explodes. But also you could switch in arrows for zap, but I don't recommend doing that. Really, the only recommendation is switching in fireball for ice spear if you're facing a lot of three musketeers or barbarians. But the point of the deck is to quickly cycle back to hog before your opponent can get his, their defense building or whatever they're using to counter hog so that I can just keep playing hog and get their tower down and they can't get an offensive push. Uh, the deck also struggles in, like, when they build up a huge push where, like, they put a giant in back and it's, like, double elixir. And they get a huge push going. Really, mini P.E.K.K.A. is the only thing that destroys the tank, like, giant. You could switch barbs for mini P.E.K.K.A., but I don't recommend doing that. But the deck's pretty good. I'm just showing you guys one replay here. And I'm playing Lava, or I'm playing a Lava Hound guy. Really, he has the deck that I tr have trouble playing against. Lava Hound Inferno, and he has Barbarians. He's really got all the counters to my deck. But this battle was really close. Uh, right at the end, we had a clutch freeze. I don't think I used freeze like the entire game except for right there until the very end. So we had his towers down really far. He almost killed us right there because our tower was locked onto the baby dragon instead of the instead of the um what's it called what's it called the lava pups. So he kept putting Inferno down, so I knew it wasn't going to get hogged to the tower. So we get that nice zap in there, mini peck to stop the miner. Sorry the audio just cut out there, but uh, I don't know why I did that, but my editing app's kind of messing up. So I zapped that. Now I'm going to put the princess try to chip that tower down. So watch close. He plays barbs, and I freeze it, so my princess gets another hit off. He gets another hit. One more is all it needs, and that freeze saves the game for me. That was a really clutch freeze, and that's the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe and share with your friends. And that's it till the next video.